American Muscle. So, behind me here, we have a 65 Mustang Coupe. It's got a 331 Windsor inside, producing 400 horsepower to the crank. This thing is an actual masterpiece. Carbureted, C4 transmission, absolute beauty. The best thing about this is we're gonna be giving it away. I think you should have a look on our website, check out this Mustang, and have a look for yourself, because there's not what, nothing you wanna miss out on. Today, well, what's gonna be done on this bad boy is uh, we will be installing some brand new Willwood brakes. This is the business. This is what I wanna show you. Six piston bad boys. This is what you need. When you have much power, you wanna be able to stop. Pretty much, uh, these brand new rotors and these brand new calipers are gonna be going onto this car because it does still need some refinement. Check out these bad boys. Absolute beauty. You can actually buy these from my website, fafauto.com. However, with this car, it is a one-of-a-kind build. It is immaculate. It's um, something that you kind of want to be sitting in your garage, even if you don't drive it, just to look at it. Very visually appealing. So, take a look. We're gonna show you a little bit more about this car in the upcoming future, and uh, stay tuned for some cool shit. Take this box over to the back bench lay everything out, see what we have, make it organized, organized, quicker, don't miss anything, double checking everything, very nice. The rotor. The bracket, the next thing, this bolts to the hub, and you can see there, that actually bolts the new hub, the new billet hub to the brackets and then the rotor also. Another bracket because you can never have too many brackets. Bracket that goes onto the hub and then the rotor goes onto the bracket which then goes onto this other bracket. And last but not least we have the Calipers. The nut for the hub should be very loose because these nuts have certain tolerances for the bearings and they shouldn't be very tight. So you have that, and then you have like a locking collar after the nut as well. So make sure you keep those. Now what you'll have is, you should be able to take the whole brake assembly off here. going to do is start assembling the hub. So first things first, we're going to need our new wheel studs. I'm here for different size wheels and stud patterns. The one we're going to use is the one on the inner that's closest to the hub, the center of the hub. So, Lock tight first. And you actually have to push grease in between the bearing and when grease starts coming out of each individual roller, that's how you know that you have pressed grease properly into each bearing.
All right, so that's the hub and the rotor sorted. Brackets on there, everything's talked up to spec. We tighten that nut at the back of the, sp uh, the front of the spindle. Made sure it spins freely. There's no friction anywhere. Everything's installed correctly to the manufacturer specs. Now we're gonna move on to the calipers, installing the brake pads into the calipers. The brake line we've got to go, which is last. And we have to work out now exactly how many shims that we're gonna to use to, that were provided by Willwood to space out the caliper from the rotor and make sure it's evenly on both sides. Yeah. 